last video of the day. Here we go. Hi, I'm Rebecca Freedom, the author of the book, Breakup Rehab, Creating the Love That You Want. And today we're going to be talking about the challenging thing that a lot of us go through but aren't willing to admit in relationship, which is abuse. Verbal abuse, physical abuse, and sexual abuse. And of course, I'm going to have my representative, Svetsy, talk to you about this, and then we'll close with uh, some offers for you. So how to say is a very hard topic to talk about domestic violence. Domestic violence happening all time, you know. Uh, raises child, my mother, she used to take out, Italian mother actually, she used to take out uh, spoon and whip with spoon on butt. And wooden spoon will break, so she moved to metal. Uh, I learned early in life to put up with lots of, how I used to say, abuse. Is not to say she was not a loving mother. There was very loving times, but often she would also lose shit. She would go off handle. And we have childhoods. We all have childhoods of neglect, sometimes suffocation, sometimes violation of body, bits and parts touched inappropriately. Very scary things to deal with. And then you move forward in life, oftentimes, sometimes to remember, sometimes to forget, and then to repeat in relationship, trying to work out those hard things that happen when you are young. So I want to make video very quickly uh, in voice here so that you get the grasp of and move on to the important part, which is to work with Rebecca's because she very good at doing the deeper work that is needed and guide you through 12 steps or whatever you need. In addition, she will not tell you uh, this often, but very psychic at times. So nice to say, have kitchen sink of counselor to support you through whatever bullshit you've been through in young life that you try to work out but really repeat. All right, so let's start with first level bullshit that we come into the world and we want to have pleasures in body, to eat, have pleasures, to touch, have pleasures, to poop, have pleasures. These pleasures were by a man named Freud. He came up with many theory about pleasure and, and we still continue to you know, more or less respect that for to this day. Oral, anal, pleasure, uh, also other types of pleasure, but pleasure in body. And, and we want to be able to discover all the pleasures, but oftentimes the discover of pleasures come because a person of authority touch us, our body inappropriately. And of course it responds to have pleasures, but we learn that is not okay. And lots of internal struggle happen because, and if that happened to you, of course, uh, there are multiple therapists you can go to to help with that. But Rebecca's really uh, helps with restore, heal the body and also recommend um, Hakomi therapy or somatic therapy, uh, often EMDRs for the PTSDs are also good therapies to consider if you are not moving forward with that. Also other violations that happen, verbal violation, you stupid, we are worthless. I hear very much from my mother growing up, you are worthless, why can you not be like your cousin? Ironically now, cousin ha, live at home with mother and kid and other cousin uh, all got busted for meth and now, you know, continued on with life and everything okay, but we all fuck up at times, but interesting enough, young years, I was the fuck up. And, now I run business that is changing lives and hopefully healing broken hearts because it's a good mission to have. So I understand uh, sometimes I talk third person, sometimes not third person. It is language barrier, how you say. Okay, so um, to the point of the verbal abuses, uh, oftentimes drunk states add to where you call your lover, your partner, dumb, stupid, idiot, uh, even meaner, you put your hands on and you are then physically abusive, not sexually abusive, but the chokes and the hits and very uh, damaging to body and to mind and to psyche and hard to uh, sometimes get out of what is known in the field as cycle of addiction, where there is, and I, let, I want you to take notes now, write this down, very important to understand if you are stuck in cycle of addiction, um, cycle of... Uh, 
abuse as well, okay? So cycle of addiction different than cycle of abuse, but very fused together. So cycle of addiction is period of time, uh, no use, uh, sobriety. Um, there is uh, the cycle of addiction is there is denial. You are not thinking to self uh, about use and then you think, oh, maybe I have problem. You admit to self there is issue, uh, which is a cognition stage. And then after cognition, you go, maybe I do something about issue. You start to prep, prepare, you may prepare up to make change. Then you action stage, move forward to make the change. And after change happened for quite a period of time, uh, mostly 21 days for new habit, as they say, um, then, you know, you want maintenance stage. After maintenance stage, this is where it's tricky because we don't always get it right first time out of gate. So we have to try again uh, and again and again, and that is the uh, relapse stage. Uh, very informative to how strong our psyche is and how support is in our life. That is cycle of addiction. Uh, on the other hand, there is cycle of abuse, which you know, you come into somebody very charming, honeymoon period, you find some not so savory things about, put up with, and then there is this buildup of resentment on either sides and uh, explosion. Uh, oftentimes, physical explosion, hits, 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 and uh, very scary, and you see sides of self, monster sides of self you never thought possible. Um, you know, at times, uh, we think about really going one of two ways with very scary, which is kill self or kill other. And, you know, when working with therapists, if that's the case, they have to report. So just to be aware. Uh, but after an explosion comes apology. Baby, I love you. I'm sorry. I will never do again. I, I will, you know, hold you in high regard. And you hope that this time will be the last time only to stay in and do that. So to break cycle of addiction, to break the cycle of abuse, really you'll need third party to come in and give skills to look at what the behaviors are. These are very animalistic, primal, uh, midbrain type behavior. So I hope that helped you understand you are entertained by voice, uh, but you want more information than I would say work with the Rebecca's. Thank you for listening to all of that. Um, I want to say that it's not cute. I've been in really shitty, abusive relationships. I, I was with this guy who, Ben was his name, uh, when I was working at Custer State Park in South Dakota. And I was with him and he would get really angry when I wore makeup. And he just would feel super competitive and would like withdraw from me if I didn't perform in a certain way, again, which really hits your self-esteem and your self-worth. You want to perform to be able to get that validation and those likes. The other um, person I was with was a cook. I was a waitress and um, we were at the bar and he was playing pool and, and I was sitting there just at the bar. I think I was drinking and someone else came up to talk to me and I had no interest in this other man that was talking to me, but my boyfriend at the time came up around me, wrapped his arm around my neck and started choking me and um, was like, what are you doing, babe? And I've had relationships where people with, withhold love as punishment, um, relationships that were completely sexually based, uh, sexual transaction relationships and relationships that were really, I would say overall based on low self-esteem, both uh, mom and dad issues that all of us have as, and we need to be able to grow to parent ourselves and learn how to really create that powerful connection and create the love that we want. So again, I know it's silly that I do these voices, but I hope that uh, Svetsy entertained you and that you got something out of this video and I'm here to support you through your journey of creating healthy relationships. I'm Rebecca Freedom. Thank you for watching. Be set free. That's what you call a wrap. Wrap it up.